Hey guys, it's me Meteor, and welcome to another edition of What is Kirby Cannon? Today we're talking about Nightmare. Nightmare is an interesting villain. Originating in Kirby's adventure, he was made at a time before Kirby really got serious in the lore department. And considering he never really made another true appearance since, we still don't know much about him. In Adventure, his goal was simple. He wanted to use the power of the Fountain of Dreams to spread nightmares to all of Dreamland. Of course, as we know, his attempts were cut short, as he the Shattered the Star Rod, the source of the fountain's power, and gave the pieces to his friends. Off topic, but I still find it funny that he's friends with a robot mole, a tree, and a cloud. This, of course, still left Dreamland without dreams. This would prevent some, such as Kirby, from even being able to sleep. That could have some severe long-term effects. Thus, Kirby went out to get the Star Rod back. Kirby may not have known what would await him at the end of his quest, or what D.D.'s intentions were for destroying it in the first place. However, as he would go on his travels, there would be one watching him throughout his journey, testing and training him. Meta Knight. In the end, as the last line of defense, if he defeated Kirby, Nightmare would remain in shambles. If he would lose, he knew he was ready to take him on directly. Either way, Kirby would end up defeating him, then DDD as well, only to discover for himself the reason for the bot's destruction. Whoops! Regardless, thanks to DDD, he was able to reach Nightmare before he could properly escape. While Kirby is very well capable of floating up there himself, even with the Star Rod, <coughs> getting shot up there like a cannon was a much quicker way of doing so. Doubtful Kirby would catch up in time otherwise. All in all, Kirby defeats Nightmare and the Fountain of Dreams regains its power, so Kirby and everyone else can get a good night's sleep. The end. Huh. Why does it feel like I talked about this before? Oh, yeah, because I already did in other videos three times. Sadly, in terms of the main games, that's really all we got about Nightmare. He only makes another appearance in Super Kirby Clash, a game in a parallel universe known as the Dream Kingdom. And even then, Galactonite got more lore in that game. Which is sad, considering we only got visual clues from him. Really, the only place you learn any more about him is from the anime. Now, it should be noted that the anime is not canon to the main games, I could go over several reasons. Cappy Town being anime exclusive, Kirby crash landing rather than flying in from a spring breeze, Krakow being one of the monsters Nightmare made rather than one of DED's friends who existed since ancient days, the Star Rod was created by swallowing the Warp Star rather than the Fountain of Dreams, which doesn't even seem to exist in the anime. I could go on but I don't really want that to be the focus of this video. Instead, let's focus on Nightmare's role in the anime. After all, it's probably the only real media that talks about his origin, and it also gives us a real visual reference as to how he uses the power of Nightmares to alter reality. His story apparently begins tens of thousands of years ago when he created Nightmare Enterprises, a business that he used to control the universe by creating beasts or monsters. Eventually, Meta Knight and others would form an army called the Star Warriors to stand against him. Unfortunately, the number of beasts at Nightmare's disposal defeated all of them, except for one. That one, of course, being Meta Knight. His hope to see a new wave of young warriors is what gave him the will to keep living. Kirby, of course, being the newest one, even if he apparently was 200 years early. This is why we can see Meta Knight taking care of and training Kirby, especially knowing DDD owns the machine that can summon beasts. While none of the stuff that happens during the anime may be canon, perhaps some of these past events can be. I mean, this is where we first hear Meta Knight's sword referred to as Galaxia, after all. Perhaps Nightmare really did have an army of monsters that once ruled the universe thousands of years ago. Perhaps Meta Knight and other warriors were involved in a war against them at some point. Maybe Highness' reference to a galactic nightmare was referring to this very event. I mean, in Super Kirby Clash, Parallel Nightmare was the one summoning the monsters after all. Really, there's nothing in the games to disprove these past events, and is really the only reference Nightmare's origin in any media 
so why couldn't it be possible? Who knows? Regardless, we've talked about everything we needed to about Nightmare. See you guys next time.